Okay, so I just wanted to take a look at number formatting in Excel, and this works in all versions of Excel. This is Excel 2010, and this works similarly in 2007 and 13. But I'm also going to show you how you can do this on any version, whether it be on Windows or a Mac. So I've got a number in here, and I want to change the decimal places. That looks a bit untidy. It could be a number that you've actually typed in, or it could be one that's there from a formula or a function. And let's say you just wanted two decimal places. Well, the way you can do it are with these two buttons here, and I'm on my Home tab. So this one here is to increase the number of decimal places. So if I click on it, you'll see that it's actually increased it here. So you can see it's actually put in an extra zero. So let's just do that one, one more time. But actually, I just want two decimal places. So what I need is this option here. And I'm just going to click on that. And you'll see it's going to decrease the number of decimal places. It hasn't lost any of the value up here. You can see it's still there, so you don't get any sort of rounding off errors as if you were doing, say, some sort of calculation. And you could keep going. So I could round it to there. So you can see that's done three. If I did 3.56 and then rounded that down, you'll see it's rounded it up because it was over 0.5 here. So it does round up and round down accordingly. OK, so if you want to increase the number of decimal places since we rounded down, you just need to click here. So nothing is lost. So you'll see these two buttons here on every version of Excel, whether it be on a ribbon or a toolbar. And the other way that you could do this is to actually go over to the number. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to choose Format Cells. And you'll get your Format Cells dialog box, and you can see that it's on the Number tab here. It normally defaults to this one first, and you can see it's Selected Number. General would just give it with everything in there. Clicking on Number allows me to choose the number of decimal places. So I could change that to, say, 1. I can type it in. I can use the little arrows here to go up and down. You can use the thousand separator, so for every thousand in a number, so if it was 3,000, it would put in a comma after the three. You can turn that on and off, and you can see samples down the bottom here. Now, the other thing that these samples down the bottom here show you is what to do if it's a negative number. So by clicking on this one, it shows the negative. Quite commonly, you will want to have it just in red without the negative sign. This one here is the same as that one above, and this one is in red and also with the negative sign in there. Let's just try it. I'm just going to click on OK. So first up, let's just type in 3000. So you can see it puts in the comma. I chose one decimal place, and if it was minus 3000, you'll see it goes red. OK, so that is how you can do number formatting in Excel and that's in any version of Excel.